there it is the majestic vertical wind turbine it's pretty big and yeah <laughs> so I didn't expect it to be that big and uh, I gotta say it uh, it draws the uh, attention and yeah that's why I have the nickname for it it's the space radar it looks like a radar or something like that yeah yeah but that's not the only funny thing the real funny thing is that it doesn't produce any amps now well this not much wind now, but yesterday when I uh, hook it up to the uh, charge controller, it was, you know, the wind was decent and I didn't get any amps out of it. It should blink that light over there when there's wind. This one is for the brake. I think it's gonna break at some point if it's gonna turn too much off the or the voltage is too high on the uh, batteries. But that one doesn't blink at all. It might be that it requires much more wind than I expected. So I'm gonna see how it it does. So if it's only producing amps to the banks when the wind is like 20 knots or something like that then I'm probably gonna take it down because it's making a shadow at it depends on the angle to the sun but now it's uh, it's making a pretty big shadow to the panels and I can see that from the voltages so and also figure out what was wrong with the new green 48 volt charge controller I found out that the, uh, it only takes like 60 volts in that's like the max voltages and I saw some of videos on YouTube one of one of the guys who had three of these controllers uh, he um, made some hacks to the one of those um, to to make it withstand more uh, more voltages from the panels he got pretty much the same panels that I do and he broke one of the controllers without the modifications and when my controller was putting like over 60 volts to the to the batteries I was a little bit concerned that what's gonna happen to batteries but I was lucky that the controller didn't broke but now I I put the panels, they were in a, in a series producing the over uh, 70, 70 volts now I put them in parallel so they are putting only like 35 volts now they are not combining the volts, they are now combining the amps together and now it works, so let's see there's the switch for the You can see there's the voltage. It's 36 now. I think it's now it's the uh, open circuit circuit voltages. And once it starts to charge the batteries, and the voltage from the panels drops down. And I also found out that this charge controller is a, a little bit slow to adjust the um, the voltage difference from the panels so it takes some time to it to put the amps there and now it says the battery, well the battery is full because I used that one because today we are going for a sailing trip the first kind of an overnight sailing trip I put these in uh, the, the motor batteries I put them back in 24 volts I can do it with these with switches just so that they can use that to charge them full because I didn't trust this that much and uh, 
uh, when I was looking the f the weather forecast, it said it, it might be a uh, no wind or or headwind to the island where we are heading to. So I better have the batteries full. So that's why I used the, the battery uh, the charger from the mains to charge them full. So I don't have to worry about that because there's a lot of small stuff that I've been doing here the past week. I don't want to worry about the batteries because this might be a, uh, some other stuff, you know, failing. This thing is also kind of weird. I don't know when it's going to get full, but yeah. So, the task for today, before we leave, I got like three hours or something, two hours, before I have to go home and pack my stuff and pick my girlfriend and then we're going to come here back and head to the island which is about 10 12 nautical miles from here so yeah I have to wash up the decks and all that stuff because there's a lot of little dirt over there and under here even more and we did the uh, initial cleaning inside here uh, I have to just organize some stuff, but yeah. Today is the sailing day, overnight sailing. No, not overnight sailing, but sailing to an island and spending night over there and then sailing back tomorrow. So, the boat is pretty much clean now. I think I got pretty much everything set up for the trip today, which I'm pretty excited about. And yeah, I'm still charging this battery if I'm gonna use my dinghy and my outboard over there. I'm using the inverter now because I haven't set up the... Uh, I have a different charger that's gonna go there. Now the mains is off, uh, somebody else is using my adapter over there, so... Then now I'm gonna head home, uh, pack up some stuff, and then we are gonna come back and start sailing. 